Well hey there everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video we will be doing the Home Depot. I hope that you all enjoy this video and if you do please drop a like down below and now let's get this started. Well hey there everyone again welcome back to my channel and with another video as you see we're going to be doing Home Depot and Home Depot is a pretty big store in real life. I'm going to be going by a real life building where I live so saying that let's go ahead and take a look at this here. Now on the PS4 I'm using the high definition texture pack so whatever blocks I use during this video just please use the same colors as I do close as possible. So right here is going to be the loading area for small vehicles. As you see I got a small truck here loading up some lumber. So again this is going to be the small loading area for the small vehicles. Right over here is going to be the front entrance. The main entrance of the building. And then right over here is going to be the main loading dock area for the 18 wheelers or the big trucks. The shipment area here. So now that you're a little bit familiar of how you're going to be building this, uh, the rotation of it all, let's go ahead and get this started. So again, this is going to be the front of the building here. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and come all the way to the left side of the front of the building. Now, real quick, you see we have this here. This here is an outline of the sidewalk that we're going to have around the building. So we'll get to all that and all the small details later on. So let's go ahead and again come to this left side of the front of the building here. And we're going to take the stone bricks. Again, whatever texture pack you're using, just use the same colors as I do close as possible. So what we're going to do is going to come right here to the left corner. We're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Alright, now we're going to come outward this way. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we're going to come across the front here. And it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Now we're going to have two loading dock doors here. So with the stone here, we're going to be filling all this in with stone. So I'm going to go right here. And it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. All right. Now with the stone bricks again, you're going to have three here. And then another loading area here. Here's the door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. This one here is thirteen, and this one here is nine. This one here is just a little bit bigger. Alright, now you're going to have one block here. And then you're going to have one block here for a uh, small entrance door, just a regular door. And then to the right of that, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34 right there. Alright. Once you've got that, then you're going to come back out this way. And it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, now across the front here, 
we have these markers here that I'm gonna have so never mind those we gotta get back to that later on we're just doing the bottom foundation so to the right of this one we're gonna have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Alright. Now this is going to be the main entrance once again. So with the stone, we're going to go right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right, now pretty much gonna copy what this left side here onto this side. So this here is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. All right. Once you've got that, then you're going to come backwards here, inwards, and it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Alright, now across the front here, we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 27, 28, 29, and 30. All right. Now we're going to come across this right side here. Here we're going to have 1 2 3 48 49 and 50. All right. So once you got that, you're going to turn this way. And it's going to have 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then right here, again, is going to be the main docking area, the shipment. I have three doors here. So here is going to be three blocks going this way like this. All right. And as you see, this here is going to be slope, and we'll get to all that later. But I just want to make a note of it that this will go downwards a slope. So saying that, this here will be like this. It'll be two blocks here. All right, now here, I'm using the in-stone bricks uh, stairs, and they're upside down like this. And this here is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Up under, I have stone. Alright, now right here, we're going to have a 3 by 3, or no, wait a minute, 2 by 3. So 2 tall, 3 wide. Alright. And then another docking area. So again, this is nine. And then another three this way and two tall. That. Another docking area. So you got three of them here. And again, it's nine. And then here is going to be like this coming up. Like this here. Three across this side. Now we have a wall here and we'll come back to that when we do this area. Again, we're just doing the foundation. So across the back here is a long stretch. So get ready to count. All right, so right here, 1, 2, 3, 181, 182, 183, 184, 185, 186. The long stretch, 186 along the back. All right, now across the side here, this is going to be like a little storage area, an electrical area here. This is going to be 1, 
31, 32, 33, 34, and right here on 34, you're going to have a space here for a door. So 38 here, and then 3 from this side, you're going to have a door. Alright, across this side here, we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Alright, now to finish the stone bricks up along this side here, you're just gonna come straight along this side and connect this up right here on this corner where we first started at. So this here again, we just come straight on across and then connect that up. Well, Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to do the uh, outline of the sidewalk. Alright, so right here again is where we first started at on this block right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come out to here. Alright, and again this is the stone blocks here. Alright, and all of this inside here will be filled in. But right here, we're going to be starting off this corner. And yes, it'll go all the way around the building. But I'm going to use this here to count with. So, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then it's going to come in here, have a nice little curve. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, turn this way, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, simple enough. Now we're going to have a long stretch here. 1, 2, 3, 71, 72, 73, 74, and 75 here on that long stretch there. Alright, going in here. We're going to be doing these in threes, so three, 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 and three. So you're going to have four sets of three, and then another long stretch across the front entrance. So one, two, three, 91, 92, 93, 94, and 95. 95 across there. All right, now we're going to have a nice curve here. It's going to come in two, again two, and then you have a single, and then you have two, and then guess what? Another long stretch. So here, one, two, three, 52, 53, 54, and 55. All right. So that's it on this side here. We're going to come right up over the docking area. And we're going to, well, you got to know this wall here. So let's just go ahead and look at this wall here. So right here where we have these three. All right. You're going to come off that wall and again, stone bricks. And this wall here is going to be the same as that wall right over there. It's going to come off this here by 1, 2, 3, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So this wall here is 25 coming off the building. And both, again, are going to be the same. Alright. So saying that, once you've got this coming out, that by 25. And again, this is going to be two blocks tall on both. You're going to come to the outside here, along the back. And you're going to count two blocks inwards right here. It's where it starts. So, again, two blocks. This is the third block. So, these two here. It's going to be two. One, two, three, four. And then from there, I'm not going to count. I'm just going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to go straight on down. 
and this here is going to be two blocks from there that's all you need to know and one block from here and this here will go straight on down across the back I'm not even going to count this part because it's just one from the wall now when you get to right here okay we're going to start counting here alright so even with this corner on the back we can count right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Alright, now if you've done that right, then right over here where we first started at on this corner, this here will come straight on down. Again, one block from here. It'll come straight on down and connect straight up to here. So once you've got the outline of all this, then now just go ahead and fill in this whole area here. And so all this here will be stone, stone up against the building. And again, all the way around the building, you're just going to fill in. I just showed you the outline. So again, all across the front, all this will be filled in. Well, all right now right here on the main shipping dock area as you see like I said earlier this will be going down in a slope so it's nice to use the slabs now I use the anisite slabs you guys can use the stone slabs but I like to break it up from the sidewalk the sidewalk is stone so I'm gonna make this anisite all right so you see I got this going straight to the road now this part here is all up to you because I don't know how you're going to have your road here. I'm just going to look down at this part here just to show you. This is how I have mine. Got a truck pulling out or pulling in, whatever it may be. Now I'll be doing the counting on this part here coming off the dock doors. So, like I said earlier, we have stone right here up under those stairs. Now, right here, this is where I'm going to count for you. So, right here is one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and right here is 16. Now, number 17, you're going to come up like this. Alright, so this will be 17 here. Now, I'm going to start over counting right here. So, this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 right here and then it's going to come up again now this level here is going to be level with your pavement out here your parking lot now from here all the way to the road that's up to you that's about 20 25 blocks or so now when you get to the road it's always nice to texture it because there's going to be a lot of traffic coming in and out of there so once you've got all this just go ahead and fill that in as well, well alright now once you have all that filled in your sidewalk now what we're going to do we're going to come right over here to the left side again where we first started off at and we're going to go ahead and take the stone slabs. Don't worry, we're not going to do this on the entire area that we just filled in. Just some parts. The stone slab is going to come right here. And it's going to come all the way down. Along this way. It's going to be up against here like this. And this here as well. So this here is going to be filled in with the slabs just like this and then along this side here is going to be the slabs and they're just going to come down here alright now later on we'll put a fence around this part but the slabs will come against here like this now on the back here the slabs will be up against right here on this corner and they will go all the way down both of them here too wide 
We'll go all the way down the back. All the way down here. And then we'll go on top of all this, all the way down to here. So all this here will be filled in with the slabs all the way down there. Now, whenever you get to this part, it's going to stay just like this. This part as well is going to stay just like this. All the way across the front, just like this here. Well, Alright, now the main blocks of the building could be either of these here. Now again, I'm on the PS4 High Definition Texture Pack. Now, the sandstone would be nice, but this is a bit too yellow for me. Uh, even the brown wool is nice, but I just don't like the texture of that. Now, it kind of looks like a brick texture almost, so that is that is not too bad. Now, the light gray terracotta is a nice block as well, but I'm going to use the white terracotta. So, again, whatever block that you choose, just try to make a sort of a brownish cream color, something like this here. Alright, now once you chose the block that you're going to use, again, I'm going to use the white terracotta here. Come right over here to the spot that we first started off at, the front left corner here. And I'm going to come up by 12 blocks with this block. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Alright, now this here will just come straight on across. All this will be the same height. All this here will be the same height here. This here as well. Now when you get to this door here, this, both these doors, this one and this one is going to be the same height. The door itself is going to be 7 blocks tall. So right here is going to be that's two blocks three four five six seven that's gonna be the door itself there so the door seven blocks tall anyway this here is gonna come across here like this this is gonna come up this here is gonna be filled in this here as well come on across this come up and then this here you gotta come on across this way and you're just gonna go ahead and fill this in well, alright now right here on the front this is what you should have here now like I said this door here is gonna be seven blocks tall on both of them but this in here I'm gonna have open by one block that way from the outside you can see this wood here just a little bit extra detail there now whatever block you guys use on this door if I use the in stone brick wall because it kinda goes inwards uh, if you don't use that and use a regular block block of choice just go in a block like this that way it has an indention like that. Alright, so this top here, like I said, will go all the way down. And it will come up against right here. So looking at it, this is what it's going to look like there. All that filled in. So right here, I have the iron door. You guys use whatever door there you want. It's white terracotta come up here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and come up with this here now I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial there's really not uh, very many or not really at all any tutorials on high, uh, Home Depot on YouTube alright so that there will be filled in and let me know in the comments, guys, what you think of this build. And any suggestions as well on further tutorials. 
All right, that's that. And again, this here will be filled in with that. This here will come on across. And then this wall will be simply filled in. All right, now, right here is going to be supports holding up a roof going up over the this docking area here. So we're going to cut these blocks here out. I'm going to use the orange concrete right on top of the stone bricks. So let's go ahead and count this. So right here off this first door here is going to be in a block right here and it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and number fourteen will be the support right here so right here will be fourteen with orange concrete on top now right here you're going to be one, two, three, four, five blocks. Support one, two, three, four, five. Support another five here. Another support. Another five. A support. Another five. So let's go ahead and count how many there is here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five six supports now this one right here will be lined up to right here so off the second door it'd be the fourth one here one block two blocks after this door so that's how you can line that up there all right now what we're going to do is go ahead and grab the stone slabs now right off here, it's going to be one, two, three, four, two, and then two. All right. Off the right side, two, two, and two. All right. Now, this here will come straight on down. And then right here. In between these supports with the slab all right now I'll grab the the coarse dirt and the leaf of choice now the dirt will come right inside here kind of break it up a little bit with the colors here and then the bushes in here and don't take them all the way down have spaces in between them like that well, all right now once you've got that we'll come back to the supports and the roof over that part later on now we're just doing the wall so what we're going to do, how we have that wall there, 12 blocks. We're going to come right over here on the other side of the entrance. Right here. And we're going to also have it 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This here will come right on down. This wall here also. Now this here, this little section will be filled in, uh, will be glass wall and there will be a door here, but I'm just going to go ahead and take this on down to here and then this here as well, come on down to here. So all this is going to be the same height, so again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So just go ahead and fill that in. Alright, now once you've got it filled in, it should look just like this. 
Now right over here where the docking area is, I went ahead and done one door. You're going to do the other two the same way. Now this door is nine blocks tall. And again, we've got the measurements coming across, but it's going to be nine blocks tall. So it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that right there. Okay, now you see I went ahead and put the gray carpet right here on top of these stairs. And then for this block, I used the full block of the instone bricks. And I went in a block, I like this right here, went in. And then up top, I used the acacia trap doors, like that there. And then up here, I used the granite slab, just have a little overhang right there. Uh, right here, I got a stair like this. And then right here, we have a little caution bumper, I guess you call it, sandstone wall to separate the doors here. All right, so now you see this will just go ahead and continue coming across here. Right up to this corner. So just go ahead and finish that off. All right, now this is what it should look like. Now for the back here, I'm just going to simply fill it in. So right here, we just come straight on down, all the way down here, this very back wall. It's going to be a lot of blocks. So right here, this corner, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This will go this way. Again, all that filled in there. This here will again come up across this way and it will come up to this corner one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve all right that there will be filled in with that now right here remember we have a door so go ahead and put your door in there and again that filled in the back filled in this here filled in as well so this here simply come on across to this corner self-explanatory and then guess what you got it this here will come on across right up against here and that also will be filled in as well All right, now once you've got it filled in it should look like this now I went ahead and put double doors down here this is 30 blocks from that corner there from the shipment area and I have the granite slab right over the entrance like that alright now what we're gonna do we're gonna come right down here to this area and as you see this here I got a slab over here as well grab your iron bars now these iron bars will come across this way like this and then right here as well so right here one two three it'll come out a block here and it'll come straight on down. And it'll come up against right here. Let's go ahead and count. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then from here is gonna be one, two, three. Oh, I need to come in. Right here. So this is one, two, three, four. So right here in between should be one, two, three blocks right here. 
and then that'll be like a uh, entrance way so this here will come on up that'll be filled in this here as well all this be filled in with that all right now back out to the front here where the shipment area is what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the orange concrete right here and this block here counting this block will be one two three four five six seven eight go ahead and take this here on across up against the building this will be two blocks up here these here will you're gonna add seven of these this will come on across two blocks like that and you're gonna simply just take these on up and do that same thing all the way across here so again one two three four five six seven a total of eight this here will double up here these here will come on up again guys if you do like this tutorial please leave a like and a comment I'd appreciate that all right simple enough that will come on across and then now grab your smooth quartz slab this will go on the underside right under here in between these as well just like this all the way around just like that all right now what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and grab the smooth quartz stairs turn this way and bring these stairs on across like this now grab the smooth quartz slab place one right there and you're going to do the same thing on this side so face this way like this take them on across and then now your slab here alright now looking at it like this right here is going to be your middle point so come right here in the middle and place the orange concrete right there so again that's your middle point now right on that you're going to place a birch button for a decoration and then now go ahead and take the birch button and place them right here just like this all the way down alright once you got that and now go ahead and grab the stairs again and you're going to turn it this way like this and these will come right up against like that so turn this way going on this direction just like that right there all right now once you've got that then now you're going to go ahead and fill this in so i'm going to use the black wool right here on this level so the entire top will be filled in right here with this block and then on the underside of this block we're going to use the anisite slab so right here on the underside this entire area will be filled in with that as well All right now once you've got that all filled in it should look something just like this right here all right now let's go ahead and move over here to the front entrance now I went ahead and done this side part here now it's gonna be the same on both sides so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the orange concrete and let's go ahead and move right over here to this side so the orange concrete is gonna come right up against this all the way up level to that now the rest of them are going to be eight blocks so one two three four five six seven eight 
So again, all these is eight box, just like so. And you're going to pretty much just fill in in between these with black stained glass panes. Alright, this come on up like that. Go ahead and grab the smooth quartz stairs and these here will come upside down and it'll be two of them like this and these here will continue all the way across the front all the way down and then you're going to take the black stained glass panes and this here will just be simply filled in in between all these orange pillars just like so just like that so all that filled in just like that there and then you're going to do that same thing on both sides then you're going to take the orange concrete and this orange concrete you're going to be two blocks just like this so right over here coming off of this overhang will be two blocks tall and this here will wrap around against the building here just all the way down and connect right up to here again two blocks tall all right, once you've got that, then go ahead and grab your smooth quartz slab. And these here will go on the underside of this overhang. All the way down, just like that. And then now, right here, you've got the black wool. Now the black wool is going to come off three here, three here, three here, and then two. So three sets of three and then a two and then under this overhang you're gonna have the iron trap doors so right over here right here you're gonna have three three wait a minute I don't look right on top here yeah three three just like that then this black wool will just simply come all the way across the front just like this and then your iron trap doors on the underside like this all across the front all right now once you've got all these filled in the windows and everything what you're gonna do now is go ahead and take this orange and you're just gonna simply fill right here in just like that now you're gonna take this black here and you're gonna off the side just like this right here all right this here will come on across even with that and both ends are going to be the same so this here will be filled in like that and then you're going to go ahead and take these iron truck doors just like that and now grab the smooth quartz stairs and these stairs are going to come all across the front of it, upside down to hide that black. So again, these here will come all the way across the front, all the way down here. They will connect on up, like that. And then they will wrap around like this. And then they will go on the underside, right up under here like that. All right. And then now you're going to take the iron truck doors, place two there. Right here, two. 
right here two okay now you're gonna take the smooth court stairs and again upside down right here on that block they will curve around like this and right there on the underside like this curve around like this right up under there just like that and then you're gonna do it one more time just like that right there so all that black is hidden away from underneath and it should look just like that well, alright now just simply go ahead and take this black right here all this is just gonna come all the way across and connect on up the other side well, alright now once you've got that let's go ahead and come right under here we're gonna go ahead and grab these here the black stained glass full blocks and up under these you see I have the stone you're gonna come out here by two on both sides you have a two block space and then have two here okay these here are gonna come straight on up just like this on both so go ahead and take these up and go ahead and do the middle as well alright now depending on your texture pack depends on your door now in this texture pack the spruce doors are glass and that's what I'm going to be using if you don't have this texture pack just use a uh, glass pane a choice that'll work now these here are just gonna simply be filled in just like that all the way up a nice glass uh, window right over the entrance just like that all right now to break this up a little bit here we're gonna add some iron trap doors now if you're in a different texture pack and don't have these nice looking iron truck doors you can also use white carpet. So right here what we're going to do we're going to count right here one, two, three, the third one on the top side of it. You're going to take this and these here will come all the way across just like this and then you're going to come up another one just like this here. Again this is just to kind of break it up and give it a little bit more detail. Well, Alright, now what we're going to do is going to go ahead and grab the white terracotta or whatever block you guys chose for this build here. And we're going to come out right here, one, two, three of these stairs here. This is going to come straight on down to this end. Again, right here, one, two, three of these stairs. Make sure you place one here to hide that hole there. And this here, this third one, it would be nine blocks total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this top here will come straight on down and just simply connect on up with this other one right here. And then you're just going to fill that in. Alright, now once you've chose what block you're going to use for the text, the Home Depot, let's go ahead and get it on the building. And also, you got to remember it has to be the slabs and the stairs. It can't be the full blocks you use to make this all fit correct. Now, on the building, the text needs to be two blocks from the top and then three blocks from this right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and count this. So... From this here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, right there. And it's also going to be 13 from right here. So from here on down this way, it's going to be 13 blocks. Also, another way you can 
measure this out to make sure it's correct this T right here is gonna be right here on this window also this T right here is gonna be right here on this window so again try to measure it out perfectly for you guys to make this easy as possible let's go ahead and do this so I'm going to replace these with the oak. Again, I don't like the, the color of this. It needs to be orange, but it's the best I could do for this texture pack. So keep that in mind. So right here, it's going to be full block, full block, full block. And then the stair is going to be like this and like this. That's going to be the T. And then you have one block in between here. Full block full block full block half slab here full block and full block down block in between now a lot of these is going to be pretty simple self explanatory all right take this here and here like this now in between these here is going to be one block but between this is going to be two blocks all right, so right here is the same as the other H. All right, and then here's going to be one block, and then you're going to have a stair like this, slab, and stair. Full block, full block, stair, stair slab now you gotta have another block in between this M here full block going down you gotta have a stair this way stair this way and then up under you have stair the opposite direction and then the same thing right here full blocks space in between now we already done an E all right like that and then you gotta have two blocks right here full block full block full block slab slab stair and stair and full block another space I'm not even going to do this E because we've done several of them already space here you have a stair like this alright stair like this and then you have a full block right here Alright, now we've already done an O, so we're not going to do that one. If we've already done the T, I'm not going to show you again. Alright, now once you've got that on there, then now let's go ahead and grab the polished anisite stairs and the orange concrete. Right here, you're going to have it come out like this. This here is going to overhang like this, and you're going to come out a block right there like that. That way you're going to have two blocks from that stair. This here is going to come straight on down, and you're going to pretty much do this all the way around the building. Now up here, you got to take this orange right here. Two blocks tall and you gotta overhang it by one right here this here is gonna go all the way down across the front and it's gonna overhang it by one here this here is also gonna be two blocks tall now the anisite the 
polished andesite stairs is going to go back behind here like this. All the way down. Now once you've got that, then you're going to go ahead, come on this side, remember, overhang by one there, two blocks from here, and this here is going to go all the way around the building, connect up to the other end down there, just like this. Look, now once you've got that all the way around the building, then now let's go ahead and grab the black wool. Now the black wool will be just filled in inside of here on this level right here. So go ahead and fill this entire roof in on this level. Alright, now what we're going to do is going to come right over here to this side of the building. And as you see, I went ahead and got it started. It's going to be real simple. You're going to take the orange concrete, come from the building here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven will be this block here. You're going to place this down here. You're going to have the light gray wool in here. You're going to skip three places. This will be the, where the window is. So three places here, another orange, three places, another orange. You're going to have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of those with the light gray wool in between there. You turn this way here and you have one, two, three, four of the light gray wool and then the orange right here. Now once you've got that marked out come right in here and you're gonna have a door in here so 10 to 12 blocks go ahead and put your door there double doors and these here will be up by one two three four five blocks tall so all these one two three four five all of them up the, by five and then you're gonna take the smooth quartz stairs upside down in between all of them fill in with the glass and then you're going to take the black wool and you're going to place right on top of here two and they're going to come up here two and then one two three you're going to carry that all the way down on top of that and then you're going to take the smooth quartz stairs upside down right here like what we've done on the front of the building and then with the iron trap doors up under here all right, now once you've got that all the way down, all filled in, then right over here, it's going to hang off by one block. And we're going to do the same thing as what we've done across the front. So these here will be upside down, wrap it around, turn it this way. And again, like what we've done on the front of the building, these will come around like this right here and wrap around again like this. Just like this. All right, now once you've got that, then right here where this comes up by five, you're going to just go ahead and add two more there. Take this here on across. And up here, just go ahead and fill this in. Alright, now once you've got that, then you're going to go ahead and take these iron trap doors. And you're just simply going to put in there, just like that there. Actually, take this, wrap it around. Again, like what we've done earlier. There we go. That's much better. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab the black stained glass full blocks and just pretty much come inside here just like this. Take the spruce door here or glass pane if you don't have that door. And then there you go. Well, all right, there you go. There's your Home Depot. I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please drop a like down below. Let me know what you think of this build, and I'll see you all next time.